In this lesson, we will examine the strategies that can be applied to counting questions of any difficulty. First, when tackling any counting question, you should begin by listing some of the possible outcomes. Doing so can often help you gain some insight into the solution. You can list the possible outcomes either mentally or on paper. Just remember that one strategy may be to simply list all of the outcomes and then count them. Next, if the question has certain restrictions, especially restrictions involving at least and at most, you should consider using the restrictions rule. Keep in mind, however, that this rule is not always the best way to handle restrictions. Next, determine whether the required task can be broken into stages. If it is possible to break the task into stages, then do so. Now, if you are able to break the task into stages, ask the question, do the outcomes of each stage differ from the outcomes of other stages? If the answer is no, then you have a combination question and you will need to apply either the combination formula or the shortcut to the combination formula. If the answer is yes, then continue with the steps below. Now, if the stages do differ, you will be able to apply the fundamental counting principle in most cases. So your next step should be to determine the number of ways to accomplish each stage, beginning with the most restrictive stage. Once you have done this for each stage, you can apply the fundamental counting principle. Finally, you should keep in mind that if you are arranging objects that are not unique, you may have to apply the Mississippi rule for alike objects. These are the strategies you should consider when solving counting questions. Be sure to practice these strategies by tackling dozens of counting questions.